Welcome back to RimWorld Resorts. This is episode four. We are going to see if we can finish up with this great lodge here before somebody else shows up. Um, I've been thinking that we may need to look into an infirmary, but one of the things that we absolutely have to do as soon as we get somebody else is we're really going to have to rotate somebody onto research. We haven't done any research at all yet, and it's starting to get to the point where I'm wanting to do additional things that may be a little more efficient or a little more energy intensive. Sadly, there's nothing like a chainsaw or something that makes cutting all this down and, and everything else easier. But there are things out there. Uh, the 4th of Jugust is going pretty well. Notice that we got a uh, rice harvest. We do need to get somebody out here to continue harvesting. Uh, why? He's going to keep cooking? Alright. Yeah, you can stop that for now. That would be good. Yeah. There you go. That's what I want you to do. Continue harvesting. And then replant all of that. And then you can take all of that and put it inside. Potato crop's going to show up pretty soon, and we've got a lot of room for it, which I'm really excited about. We do need to start looking at things like electric lights. Um, this will be our first building um, with electricity otherwise. That's why I want to research the invisible power lines, because I want to stretch them across and stuff like that. Right now, they all sit on the ground like that. So I guess I will look at producing a simple research bench. Bad temperature, that's fine. Some of that's from the heat wave, because it is hot. This heat wave is gonna have to go away eventually. Sadly, I have yet to see this thing produce any power. I haven't seen it spin once. And if it doesn't start doing something, I'm going to... Oh, that's right. That's right. It won't with trees in front of it. We absolutely have to cut down a whole bunch of stuff. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it's one above, and it's like this ish. We'll go that far. That's fine. That's all got to be cut down. Right now, everybody's asleep. How much medicine did we get? One? Are you kidding me? Did we just leave it? We did. Uh, you're going to have to haul that urgently. Those have all got to be hauled. And then, do we have some others up here? I thought there were some up here too. Just the one? All right, yeah. Everybody is probably gonna have to go do some hauling now. I'm okay with that. We've got to get everything inside, and it needs to be ready for the winter. Heat wave is over. That's excellent news. Let's expand that a little bit. Oh, yeah. Back down to 29. That is a lot better. Also going to have to seriously look at hauling things out of there. Oh yeah, look at our medical stockpiles go up. That's great news. So we're gonna drop everybody down to herbal medicine unless something just terrible happens.
Lodge is starting to take shape. I think we kind of need to start working on the granite walls, but I guess it doesn't really matter whether we're going to do the floor or the walls first. Just the things seem to be going along, though. Let's switch it up and let's go to the granite blocks. Got a lot of rice, got a lot of meals. We need to start hunting again. accidentally selected our dog. <laughs> what do you have here? A whole herd of deer. I think we'll avoid those for now. When I get a better weapon, like a machine gun or something, I'll feel better about that. And then... Uh, the turkey's huntable. That's a lot of hunting I've asked them to do, but that's okay. Sadly, our chief construction guy is also kind of our hunter. Well, I say construction. Runt construction. He's not building houses, he's slicing blocks. I think we can probably well I don't know. All right. So I think we can get this as a cabin. We can maybe put like another one here. And then maybe one more here. I don't know. I'm also thinking about a larger lodge house. I think we're gonna wind up mining this out completely. Kibble, excellent. All right, so we finally made kibble. That means I'm going to need to set up a storage shelf just for kibble. Maybe we'll make it a box, right? The dog seems to be able to get into whatever it needs to get into, so. We've got racks, long racks, crate. There we go. We'll make a wood crate, put it right there. make that crate for me, man. We need a place to feed our dog. This is the storage for... Clear all. Priority. Critical for kibble. Go put that kibble outside. gonna decompose. Nope, it's good. That is the dog's feeding bin. Dog better eat kibble. You go after a meal now that I've made you kibble, we're gonna be sad. Oh, okay, and that is looking better. We are generating a decent amount of power now. It's keeping us topped up 24-7. We have visitors. Alright. Hey, where are they? Okay, that's pretty good. We need to put all of our effort into doing this, so. Go stone cut. I want you to be able to cut stones so that we have. Oh, hey, and go talk to Black. Pemmican, herbal. Ooh, smoke leaf joint. There are some out here somewhere. Yeah, we'll sell you that for, like, super cheap. Alright, where was... It landed not terribly long ago. I don't know how... There it is, right there. 
deteriorating. Look, you have got to haul this. Like, right now. And then we're going to go trade. And we're going to offer them some drugs. I didn't keep it around. Because I didn't want you guys. Yeah, there we go. Drug policies, right? We can tell people to take drugs every day or something like that. That's not what I want to do. I want to sell them for now. We're going to stay pretty straight. Okay, that's interesting. I can't sell it because it's not outside? Um, let's uncheck drugs. What was in there? Well, okay, we'll keep the tea in there. And beer if we ever get any. Everything else can stay outside. Alright, look, I want you to go haul those smoke leaf joints. Put them outside. And let's sell. There you go. That was a lot for seven silver. <laughs> Wow, did he just work through the night? He's gonna be effed up. You need to stop doing the prioritized work. That's my fault. That's my fault. Need you to finish working on that part of the wall. There you go. We've got to get this room at least constructed for these guys. Uh, so we can do some pretty rustic stuff at this point. We're going to go ahead and put a granite bed here. And here. And we're going to put a torch lamp there. Um, Tempera, do you clean? And Kalia, can you finish this? You need, somebody needs to finish making slabs. Okay. Again. You go do that. You're better at it. Yeah, I don't really care if you're at a minor break risk right now. Deborah. Oof, we don't have enough. this a guest bed? For guests. There we go. What are you doing? Okay. This guy keeps stealing him. Stop it. Collier, stop it. Seriously, stop it. Yeah, he's going to sleep, okay. Lansing is... You can't construct things. Well, you're going to construct them because you've been stealing them the whole time. 
you're gonna go ahead and stop. You have things to do. Trying not to make any more enemies than we already have. So I think two of those per room will work. They're really going to want some air conditioning at some point. But not until we finish the walls. And the dining room. The dining room is going to be pretty critical too. Minor risk break. Need a research project. Yes, we do at some point. Minus 11. They will visit again in a while. You know, that's all right. That's progress. I'm really surprised that we have not gotten somebody else, though. I wonder what Lansing's doing. He's just hanging out? Oh, he's hunting. Okay, that's fine. Kibble. We've made a lot of kibble. How much kibble do we need? 70 out of 10? Okay, yeah, I think each block is like 50 or 25. So we are more than good. Keep working on the house. We can move that, uh, it's a poor bed. Poor, 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 poor. Look, it'll be better once we finish the house, right? What are we gonna do for researching anyway? I think we want hidden power conduits. So let's see. Outside it's 25, it's 27 in there with the light. totally sleep in there until they have to move out for other reasons. How does Lansing feel about where he's at? Awful bedroom. It's an ugly environment. Awful barrack. Oh, he doesn't like sharing. Okay. It's comfortable. We are joy-filled. The low expectations are still helping. So that may not be big enough. We may have to kind of expand out and put one more bedroom kind of on the back side of this. We can do that if we have to. Or we can even build it in over here, but I want this as kind of the breakfast nook. All right, so we have... Excellent. We are a legit house at this point. We need slate stuff. Now that'll work. How are we with the allow area? Cleaning area? Okay, yeah, good. Cleaning area is good. No. Oh. Get back here. All those potatoes. All those potatoes. All that stuff needs to go inside. All those potatoes. All those potatoes. Uh, haul all that urgently. Everybody needs to be doing that. That's more important than your other stuff. 
That is our winter food supply. And things are going to be dire if we don't have some. I'm wondering why nobody cleans whenever I tell it to clean. I guess I've given them too many other things to do. You can still manually right click and tell them to do that stuff though. I think Deborah, go clear the rubble. Definitely making some good progress here. Lansing, are you going to bed? Good man. Now, the room's a little cleaner. Ugly environment. This place is unpleasant to be in. Awful barrack, I have to share it. Oh crap, we have a wild boar that's gone mad. And it's this one, I'm sure of it. Yes, maddened manhunter moving. You have got to go kill this thing right now. Here you go. Go outside. Murder it. Or you're gonna be unhappy. Boars are brutal. There we go. Lansing, how's your health? A scratch. Okay. Now I heard that colonists can tend to themselves. Self-tend disabled. There must be a setting that I've missed somewhere to do that. Let me take a look. That was one of the things I was really interested in was the fact that you could now self-heal. It makes a lot of sense, right? Uh, learning helper, names, real-time clock, plant sway, colonies. Well, we'll look at it. Deborah. All right, well, he must be good enough off that she, I mean, there we go. Go put some herbal medicine on him. Hey, what is up, everyone? I totally got surprised. I looked down for half a second, and then boom, there's people. Well, the cannibal got brutally murdered. Uh, <laughs> and then I wound up restarting to get a different map. So what's up, Akuni Potato? Really though, yeah, the uh, the cannibal got killed in the very next raid and everybody in the party was completely crushed and I decided I'm going to restart it and give it a slightly different way of looking at things. Besides, I didn't really want her the more that I thought about it. And I think this game knows that because I'm several days into this one and it hasn't given me a third person yet. Or a fourth person yet. So life is getting a little hectic. I've got a lot going on and not a lot of people to do it. I've decided to go ahead and put in a guest cabin. Because I've already had people show up, get mad at me, and then leave. So I also have some crops going, which is super important and something I didn't do before. There is a starship hidden on the planet. Yeah, that's fine. We are gonna get off on our own, or we won't get off at all, and it's not a big deal. Man. 
Cooking some breakfast. Come grab this dead pig that tried to murder everyone in their sleep. I do think that Friday the 13th is probably coming up here. In a oh, see, here it is. Everybody showed up. Now we've got options. A Glitter World officer named Jeremy Soviet Ball calls you from nearby. He's being chased by pirates. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. All right. Well, let's offer safety. I really need somebody. Man, does he have no clothes? Do you have no clothes? He's got cloth cargo shorts. Well... What is he good at? He's okay at shooting. He's fantastic at melee. Uh, he's no fun. I mean, sorry. He doesn't like to drink and smoke. He does love to party. And he's incapable of dumb labor. Man. Well, okay. You can still stick around. I'm okay with that. So we're going to go ahead and draft you immediately. You should get up here. And... Collier can get rid of his knife. He's not very good at it. And you can have it. Yeah, I would be freaked out if a naked guy was gonna do... was gonna tackle me too, but I think they are not thinking that way. I expect to see a whole bunch of, uh, or at least a few, pirates come up this way with some vengeance on their mind. Maybe he's just wearing the shorts because he was sleeping with the, uh, the, uh, husband or wife of the pirate leader, and, uh, the pirate leader came in and caught them in flagrante delecto. Alright, so we got two people. We've got Sin, who's a shipwright. Who wants to set our wooden wash bucket on fire? This guy has decided that the thing to do, or she has decided that the thing to do is set a bucket of soapy water on fire. And Martin has decided to set our stonecutter's table on fire. Okay. Are either one of these people in bleeding heart? You are a bleeding heart, and you get very emotional. You love helping people, and you abhor violence. Except against, you know, stone cutting tables. Sin is steadfast, which is good, and neurotic. Actually, that kind of works. Steadfast is a minus 9%, neurotics plus 8%, so it's actually a benefit overall. The stats aren't terrible. You know, if we can recover Sin, if we can save Sin, I think we'll give it a shot. But I don't really expect that to happen. You know, actually, the I, I would go with prosthetics over the bionics, but that's just me. I like the idea of a robo-wolf. Either way is really going to work out for you, I think, um, unless you have really high animal in the first place. And if you do, then it's a fantastic point for you to say, I need to start training somebody else. So you come hang out over here because that's where everybody's going to be. And you can come stand here in the doorway. And Deborah, go sit in the battery room because you don't have any weapons and you're terrible at everything. And I guess Collier can hang out with you. We're going to make Soviet fight for his, uh, his freedom. And he is going to fight with a knife. So Lansing, start firing those bullets. Oh, there we go. All right. All right, Soviet, get in there and start attacking this guy. The fact that it's two on one is kind of a problem. Oh, there we go. All right, no, injured. Oh, we'll stay with it. Did you drop your weapon? No. Okay. Yeah, keep attacking Sin. There we go. Now, go attack Martin. 
Okay. Well, we killed the wrong one. Did we really want to do anything with Martin? What do you guys think? Should we keep Martin? Ten trained wolves and honey badgers? Man, you must be running some sort of Beastmaster game where you just run around with a huge herd of animals that destroy everybody that you come across. Let me know what you think about Martin here. I'm really kind of interested. He seems like, uh... He seems like he's actually not as bad as I thought. Yeah, he is extra hand. And... He's gonna have a permanent bad mood. And he doesn't particularly like violence, but he'll commit it. And his shooting's good. He's gonna learn animals really quickly. He can be a grower. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our nicest room, the one that's designated, the one that's absolutely designated for guests, and we will make it where we're going to put old Martin. So you need to go ahead and no, don't don't merely attack him to death. Just capture him. Okay, and then Lansing, you are going to want to grab some medicine here in a second. What are we wearing here? A cloth button-down shirt. A shoddy cloth button-down shirt. All right. Strip this person. Soviet needs a shirt. And then go bury them. You have fun with that. Your colony is half of an animal farm. Yep, that is a. Uh... That is definitely sounds like a fun playthrough. I'm not gonna lie. We've got some advanced cybernetics. I just don't have anybody that's real pro animal at this point in time. I would love to have like uh, attack wolves or wargs or something else like that that I could use whenever things get really desperate. I'm only playing um on, I forget what it's called, kinda rough, or something like that. It's the one that's below rough and above the little bit of challenge. It's just one right below rough. So, gonna go ahead and call it here, and I will see you all in the next episode.